Thank you. On the TV. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. This I've And Leah and I'm already off to a bad start because I literally have no idea where I am like I think I for some reason I ended up in international baggage claim somehow <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not a good traveler guys but it's all right we're gonna have fun today I can't wait to show you guys what we're doing moving sidewalks okay well all right mm -hmm. my son's day in the gym he's a cheerleader you're who my son oh he's day in the gym Oh, yeah? I said, son, you know you got to still hit the gym. Because instead of uh, playing with boys, you throwing up women. You ain't throwing up little girls. <laughs> you throwing up young ladies, and they got muscles. They got playing with you. Okay, wait, got off. Hold on, I'm looking to see where I'm going to. Oh, it's a five-minute walk. Okay. Why is this so confusing? I know. All right. It's fine, guys. I'm just running a marathon. I got off the plane and just, you know, sorted in with this marathon. <laughs> Now she can find me because I was the only person in this marathon with a giant camera and bag from the airport. So I'm going to meet Leah's sister right now. She's picking me up. We are getting ready for the Unbroken Designs <laughs> photo shoot and we went on Instagram and we asked people to ask us some questions while we're getting ready. I don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea, but... Or if people are even awake right now. <laughs> yeah, true. It's really early. <laughs> so we're going to find out, see what uh, what we can do on the vlog today to keep it interesting instead of just like behind the scenes photo shoot stuff because I feel like that gets kind of boring. So yeah. let's see what they said. Yay, we are all here. Here. Are you in this? Ready? Yay, we're ready to do our photo <laughs> shoot. And we're just in my hair and it is so freaking so cute. cute. We're about to go to her salon and take some pictures. Woo! Yes, woo! We all look so pretty. Oh, hey, love Jen. Yeah. So, future plans with competing for all of you weightlifting, CrossFit, and powerlifting. I'm ready to go first. Yeah, you can go first. So, hi, I have a powerlifting meet in Amber. My five weeks out or four? You're four weeks out now. I'm four weeks out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Lifting at Europa in Orlando. Um, I might come USPI. to that and watch you if I'm not working. Yeah, yeah. With I'm jumping up a weight class. Woo. So gaining all the weight. Eating all the McDonald's. Eating McDonald's. Manders got in my car today. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't clean it first because I didn't think that she was going to be getting in my car. And it had McDonald's, Zaxby's, Chick-fil-A, and Starbucks trash just in the back seat. <laughs> I was like, what is this? What is this? Manders literally said, I don't know if we can be friends anymore because she found out my secret life. <laughs> but there was Chick-fil-A. There was Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A okay, Chick doesn't count as fast Chick-fil-A doesn't count. So you're powerlifting in Europa. I yeah. am doing a meet um, in Miami on April 22nd. Oh. It's the Iron Game Open. Yes, yeah, still oh, is a 50. No. Do we have people doing that? Mm, Iron Game? No, that was that was the Iron Open. The Iron Open. Oh. That was the Iron Board. Well, 53, still small. <laughs> still don't have muscles. It's fine. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Listen, with Olympic weightlifting, it's not always about the people who look the strongest. Very true. Right. Okay, next, next question is, um, I recently watched a video on YouTube about the difference between cheat days, refeed, go, and binge yeah, eating. This girl did several cheat days, and she said a cheat day is when you eat whatever you want, but you still track the calories. What do you think about cheat days? Why are you McDonald's on this every day? <laughs> <laughs> the worst person that. Like, Leah, Leah made a good plan a long time ago. Like it's called yeah. a treat day. Yeah. So a cheat day. Okay. Cheat totally. Good. Okay. So I can actually give my opinion. On okay. It. Not That's like right. maybe not the way that I live, but okay. my thoughts on it. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think that by calling it a cheat, you're already instilling in your mind that you should maybe feel kind of guilty about it. And it's already a negative 
um, connotation with the food. So if you call it a treat day, you're treating yourself for all the hard work you put in, like I guess if you have one every once a week, right? So you're yeah. treating yourself for the week of hard work, of eating well, of taking care of yourself. And so now you're just, you're allowing yourself to indulge a little bit. Yeah. Right. And, and I, I don't really understand refeeds, so you can talk about that. Yeah. So basically when you're, when you're a refeed, you're, you've been dieting for a really long time. And the purpose of a refeed is kind of to give you a mental break and a physical break, break of the stress that your body goes through when you're in a caloric deficit for a long period of time. It also helps to refill your glycogen levels when you've been cutting for a really long time. So sometimes people like do a reset. Yeah. Like sometimes people do refeeds like once a week. Sometimes they do once every two weeks. It also depends on your like fitness level where you are and also what your goals are so I think that sometimes people with cheat days too it depends on your fitness level and also what your goals are because if you're trying to be like really strict and lose like a specific amount of weight if you're doing cheat meals all the time it can kind of derail your progress because you're not constantly in a caloric deficit so I think it's it walks that fine line between like cheating cheating treat yeah yourself. treat yourself you should never that's why I like you know flexible stuff because you can do treats yeah. without feeling like you're going off track yeah and then binge eating or binging binge oh yeah so it's just when you totally lose your shit right right and you there's go an off the deep end disorder though there's totally an actual eating disorder yeah. totally yeah, where you friend. you literally and psychologically lose control of what you're eating you have issues with binge eating you should seek guidance of some sort for sure yeah reach out to someone even if it's just like an accountability partner you yeah. need to reach out to someone about it Second uh, question of the day was, how come I don't drink alcohol? If you guys don't know, Leah is the owner of Mental Kilter. And so everyone kind of knows Leah's story, but not so much mine. And to be honest, I don't really have a story. I just don't really prefer drinking. I don't need to have fun to do it. I've never been into that. So I don't know, I just, I've just never done it and it's really, really hard on my stomach. You guys know I have IBS, alcohol is a no-no. So I just kind of avoid it and just don't do it. Shoulders, and you'll push off. Okay. Push off and stand up. You ready? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was my fault. When I first started CrossFit, I had to do jumping pull-ups for a little bit, and then I did banded pull-ups, but I probably got both strict and kipping. Actually, I went straight to butterfly pull-ups. I never did that gymnastics kip because it didn't make sense to me. Okay. So I went, I learned butterfly right away. Um, honestly, probably like the first month of CrossFit, I got a pull-up, so I'm I, not a good like, <laughs> well, person to ask. So if you have gymnastics background, you'll get pull-ups pretty easily. Um, I did as well, but I did banded for strength, like just to get that upper body strength, a lot of yeah. banded progressions, single arm dumbbell presses, lap pull-downs, mm -hmm. a lot of upper body isolation work. So yeah, keep practicing. So when people are trying to learn, I always have them do negatives, like jump into a pull-up, yes. so your chin's over the bar, and then do super slow descent. Yep. And then stay locked out, keep your lap engaged there and then try to get back up and do the same thing over yeah. and over again and don't stop practicing and don't stop practicing <laughs> this is a good one you can only do three movements or lifts in your training for the rest of your life what would they be three movements I would say snatch uh, GHG sit-ups <laughs> and rope climbs So we're still going on with these Q&A questions and I'm loving this today because I haven't done a Q&A in so long on my channel. So this is like the perfect time to do this with Leah and her sister Amber. So 
Another question that we got is, do you run through bulk and cut cycles or did you find that your body just kind of naturally built muscle and leaned out as you progressed in CrossFit? And um, at first I didn't do any bulk or cut sessions, I just was maintaining and I definitely built muscle and leaned out because I was a newbie. But as I progressed more, I did start to run bulk and cut cycles. I do bulking in the winter, cutting after that, maybe like during weightlifting meets, and then just kind of maintain the rest of the year. So, and I think Leah does that as well too, but she just kind of like doesn't, she only cuts four meats. Like, she's just bulking now to fill out her meat, cut, her weight class, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I have now taken on a cute little accessory partner. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Are we gonna go shopping? Okay. <laughs> Which has been your favorite open workout so far? None of them, I hate None. the open. I don't cross it at all. <laughs> what was it? What was your favorite open workout? But Well, I haven't done any of them, but this last one would be my favorite yeah, one, because deadlifts, deadlifts and gymnastics. Like, yes, that's Leah's strong point right there. Yeah. <laughs> now where are we going, driver? Wow. We We're gonna go to Kill Me Crazy. Oh, yay. Okay, to get like poke bowls and smoothies and juice. So excited for that. Yeah. Can we? Um, we can flip it. Flip it. I almost said it and then I stopped and then I was like, no, I'm not going to say it. Don't filter yourself. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so these are protein like lattes with vegan protein powder. It's actually vegan, so everyone can relax. <laughs> <laughs> I got chastised. <laughs> I swear it's vegan. I'm not a vegan, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Okay, last and final stop of the day is going to be at the J what, Jackson, Jackson Street Jackson, <laughs> Jackson yeah. Street Bridge, which is apparently super iconic for Atlanta. So I'm really excited to be able to see it. You guys know I don't really travel much, so it's cool to be like in a different city and to like experience different things. I know this is totally not like different culture, really. <laughs> I mean, it kind of is, but kind, it's a lot kinda. different than South Florida. Yeah, there's a lot. In I feel like I'm so uncultured. <laughs> Oh, here's a good one. How did you meet all your supportive friends at the gym? How did it all start? Most times I go to the gym in my own world. I don't really talk to anybody. So to answer that question, Leah and I were saying that we really like to compliment other women and like tell them that they look really good if they like something that they're wearing or like compliment them in the gym if you see them working out. Like I'll go up to somebody and be like, oh, that looks really good. Like what was your time on that or something and just kind of like initiate conversation. But Leah and I, Leah and I actually met on Tumblr. Leah, how many years ago did we meet? In 2011, and then became friends, and then met in real life at the Crush Games, and we've just been friends ever since. Now I feel like I'm, like, you know, by default, friends with Amber. <laughs> and Amber and I are pretty similar. <laughs> Hey guys, we're done for the day! Yay. Yay! That was so much fun. I absolutely loved hanging out with you guys. Thanks for being on the vlog today. Yes. I hope you enjoyed us. Yes, I hope you enjoyed answering or listening to our questions. <laughs> Hopefully people like Hopefully us. Hopefully people like it. And it YouTube will play their way. Everyone loves Julia <laughs> and Amber. So this is where we're ending this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for Thank watching Lee and Amber. And we'll hey. see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.